Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss the rules of division and subtraction in math. So, suppose that we have some number, 5, and we subtract a quantity which is less than 5, let's say 3. We will get a number which is greater than 0. Similarly, if we subtract a number that is greater than 5, such as 7, we will end up with a number, negative 2, which is less than 0. If we subtract a negative quantity, for example, 5 minus negative 2, that's the same thing as adding a positive quantity, 5 plus 2, which is equal to 7. If we subtract a number from itself, we always get 0. And if we subtract 0 from a number, we get that number right back again. So those are some of our subtraction rules. How about division? Take a number such as 9. Divide it by something that is smaller than itself. We get 3 in this case, which is greater than 1. If we divide it by a number which is larger than itself, in this case 18, we will get a number which is less than 1. Now, if we divide a positive number by a positive number, we get a positive number. We divide a negative number by a negative number, we get a positive number. But if exactly one of our two numbers is negative, then we get a negative number as our answer. Dividing any number by itself gives 1. Dividing any number by 0, this is undefined. You can think of this as an illegal operation. If you ever find yourself dividing by 0 in a problem, it's a good indication that you've done something wrong. Because there is no number by which you can multiply 0 in order to get 9. That, of course, is the definition of division, the inverse of multiplication. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed the rules of subtraction and division in math.